Hello everyone, my name is AJ. I am from the Kettering University Robotics team for RI3D, and here's our daily recap. We have plenty of ideas going on through our head throughout the day. A lot of it started with going over the bumper, through the bumper, since they allowed the openings once again. And we've come up with the idea, what if we just choose to do a robot that's simpler and teams that don't have really parts or want to make a kit bot kind of more friendly. And we came up with a feeder design here. We came through many different iterations with multi-purpose use intakes to b double shoots and all sorts of other contraptions and ideas, eventually landing on just intake outside and then a ramp on the backside. It's really, really simple. We have an intake that will most likely just stay down once you release it in the match. It picks up, goes into a storage tank. In the storage tank, there'll then be a small roller on the inside that then leads to a ramp, and you will then go out to the outpost to then feed the outpost, which or feeding your teammates. By doing this, you can the human player can continue scoring by simply just throwing it up into the target. Wait, wait, wait! Did you say that you're not having a shooter on this robot? No, I cannot. We are not having a shooter on this robot. This robot is made to be super simple and super easy to make. There is no shooter design on it. We had originally planned on making a shooter and we realized let's make something a little more eco and like less parts friendly. Like if you don't have enough funds this season or you don't have limited amount of parts, this was made in that mindset where you still be able to really help your team and still score in your own way by using the human player. Throughout the day, we've gone through many different iterations of it and we've worked on a lot, especially all the rule changes of it coming from 120 inches to 110 inches it has changed a lot of like what we had to do for the robots we are using a drivetrain chassis from andy mark that we currently have to cut down due to these changes another one of these big changes is the weights from 125 to 115 so with the size coming down it has also then changed the weight output which overall makes sense because less space should mean less weight other than that, it's still relatively the same thing. Overall, the robot process has been built the same way by still using chassis and just cutting off about four inches, giving you about everything you could use to your advantage. With that in mind though, we still had to make changes to our mindset because not everything is noticed at the beginning when you read the game manual. I see as you see in here, we still have our team working very hard, cutting off pieces to then make sure the robot is one, still in compliance with the rules, and two, is able to compete with the mindset we have in mind. They're currently working on the folding out intake system that will allow us to pick up balls from over the bumper because by going out over the bumper, we are actually able to then increase our tank storage, allowing us to hold even more. And by not having a shooter, we hold so much, a lot more than almost any other robot will ever be able to hold, giving us that competitive edge of being able to take all the balls and hoard them away, make sure the other team can't score their, their active period. And when ours is inactive, our, our teammates can pick up and then we can play defense instead. Anyways, thank you for joining us for our recap. We hope you have a great season. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to stay up to date on future fun videos. Build your alliance with so many other FIRST alumni who go to Kettering University. Every student at Kettering experiences their cutting-edge co-op programs that seamlessly blend the professional and academic worlds. Kettering co-ops are a fully immersive working experience at the leading edge of industry. Head on over to kettering.edu first to learn more about their incredible programs and to get more information.